Hey guys, any Dollar Tree lovers out there? Well, if you are, here's another unique piece that is easy to make and it will be a conversation starter. The only tool you'll need is a glue gun. If that sounds good to you, let me show you the steps on how to create it. I started off with tower game blocks that's available at the Dollar Tree. You'll need six boxes of them to make the one that I'm doing. I placed hot glue on the bottom of one piece of wood and secured it to the top of 11 by 18 inch canvas. If you don't have a canvas, you can use foam board instead. This is an art piece you can make as big or as small as you want. I placed the wood at an angle. Then I connected another piece on the opposite side to create an upside down V. I repeated the same process all the way down on the right side of the canvas. I did this to create a guide. Next, I took another block and added hot glue on the side of it and connected it to the piece that was already there. I did the same process until I had a full row of blocks. Then, I did the same thing to the opposite side. This was pretty simple to do. I started connecting them individually, but then I decided to connect the blocks first and then attach them to the canvas. Either way works, but I think the second method is quicker. Once I had all of my rows, I added hot glue to cover all the holes that I saw. Then I took my heat gun to get rid of all the glue strings. If you don't have a heat gun, you could also use a hair dryer. Just to experiment, I decided to cover the blocks with wood filler. I didn't cover every crack, but some of them. I wanted to see how it would look. You could definitely skip this step if you wanted to. I waited until the wood filler dried and then I sanded it down with a 220 grit sandpaper. After I dusted the excess off, I took some dark gray paint and covered the blocks and canvas. I use this as a base coat for the wood blocks.
Afterwards, I spray painted it with a gold metallic paint. And this is how it turned out. Once I placed it on the wall, I decided to add a wood frame around it to bring more focus to it. If you want to see how you can make your own wood frames, click on the link above or in the description box below. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great week.